Hi everyone, this is Ao Chuan from Michigan State University. Today, I'm going to introduce our work that is accepted by CVPR 2023. In this work, we peer into the label mapping stage in visual prompting. Label mapping is a main building block in visual prompting for transfer learning. However, existing work hardly investigates this stage. Uh, we propose iterative label mapping through the lens of bi-level optimization. Um, improving both the accuracy and the interpretability of visual prompting. Um, we conduct experiments in vision-only models and the vision language models, uh, showing the broad horizon of our method. Our work is also credited to all my co-authors showing their slides. You can check our project page by scanning the QR code in this slide. So let's just begin. Visual prompting is nothing but perturbing the image data for a specific purpose. In recent literature, it was mostly applied for a cross-domain application, transferring a pre-trained network to downstream tasks without updating the model. Uh, the, vision, uh, the visual prompting method uh, in transfer learning contains two essential building blocks, the input perturbation and the label mapping. And first, downstream images are incorporated with the learnable input perturbation, uh, which aims for the alignment with the source data distribution. Second, the prediction logics of downstream images are mapped from source labels to, uh, domain to the downstream label domain by a hard-coded mapping function. In previous work, this function seems ruleless. For example, the most used technique is random label mapping. Since label mapping is a key building block for vision of visual prompting while having the explainability downside, we raise our main research question. Given the source model, how to build a mapping from the source label space to the target label space so that the model's prediction directs to the correct target label. We propose ILM, which means iterative label mapping to, uh, to address this question. Previously, the label mapping is hard-coded at the beginning of visual prompting training and kept fixed during the whole training. We believe that with the guidance of the intermediately trained input perturbation, we can find a better label mapping. Uh, therefore, we incorporate the label mapping design into the training process. We formulate the problem as a bi-label problem, which comprises of the lower level problem as label mapping, and the upper level problem as the prompt learning, and the two problems are optimized alternatively. We provide a visualization of the convergence progress of our ILM VP method on the Flowers 102 dataset. The first row shows different stages of the input perturbation, and the second to fourth rows show three representat representative downstream classes correspondent source labels. At the bottom, um, the last row shows the label mapping difference between adjacent epochs. As we can see, um, along with the training process, the uh, visual semantic meaning of source downstream label pairs uh, become more and more aligned. Mm, specifically, they just look more alike. Uh, the hemming distance of label mapping distance uh, difference between adjacent epochs and also indicates the convergence of label mapping and the stability of our proposed method. We applied our method on 13 different datasets and the three different source network architectures. We compare our method with the visual prompt baselines, random label mapping, and frequency label mapping. The latter is the SOTA in the literature. Also, we add two traditional transfer learning methods, linear probing and full fine tuning for compar comparison. We highlight that our method usually outperforms the visual prompt baselines by a large margin. In addition, um, in the byte, which is a medical data set comprising of only little data, uh, our method even outperforms the linear probing and full fine tuning baseline, highlighting the practical value of visual prompting and our label mapping uh, technique. Through our experiments over a large number of target datasets, we find that ILM VP becomes more powerful when it comes to uh, tasks with a larger label space. For example, in figure two, uh, it shows that the target datasets with at least 
three a person accuracy improvement using ILMVP compared with FLMVP on risk net 80. Uh, as we can see, target data sets with the highest number of classes correspond to the most significant accuracy improvement brought by ILMVP. Figure three compares the performance of ILMVP and of FLMVP versus target training data set. Uh, it's training from 20% to 100% of the entire GTSRB data set. As we can see, um, ILMVP consistently outperforms the baseline FLMVP and the improvement becomes more significant as the data scale grows. We extend our method to CLIP, a uh, language vision hybrid model. In CLIP, the target labels are determined by the combination of text prompt and the downstream class annotations. The prior art uses a fixed text prompt. This is a photo of something. However, we add more descriptive text prompts to form a text prompt set, like a, a good photo of something, uh, an embroidered something. Then iterative label mapping is used to find a proper combination of these text prompts and the class annotations for each downstream class. We present our method compared with the prior art, which only uses a single text prompt. Um, on 11 datasets. As shown in the table, our method consistently outperforms the prior art. We also provide more explanation examples both on the vision model and the clean model. Uh, welcome to check our paper for these examples uh, just easily by scanning the QR code. Thank you for your interest in our work. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to shoot us an email. Thank you.